Hey guys, Seal Toast Michael here, and we're gonna talk about something interesting today. A while back, um, I thought it would be cool to create videos showcasing scrapped ideas of mine, because, like, lord knows I have way too many fucking projects. Um, but, um, they're usually really fucking good. Uh, not to, you know, toot my own horn, but, um... I wanted to make like a little mini series to kind of document my favorite ones that I just couldn't do. Um, maybe I'll get around to doing them one day. Like I definitely really want to do this one day. It's just like I have who, uh, drive eighty six, um, fucking a, a, a thing, a secret project, and like I work full time, so it's kind of difficult to just sit down and do this. Like not to mention I do. Uh, I do have, like, three videos that I'm working on for Nobody's Dive. Um, so, like, I really just don't have the time to sit down and do this. But I just fucking love the idea. It's, um... It, I'll get to it. So, essentially, this is going to be episode one of what'll probably not even be that many episodes. Or who knows, maybe I'll actually continue this. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to introduce you all to Maker Punk. So, what is Maker Punk? Es essentially, I do, like, cool silhouette posters for my stuff. Like, I like doing it. I just find silhouette art online, edit it up, and make a poster. Um, I've done it for the other side. I did it for role plays. I did it for Arkin. It's, you know, it's like my thing. Um, and one day I decided I want to make this into a comic. I want to do a comic based off of it. So, I created this idea of Maker Punk. And essentially the idea is, um, let me actually pull up a script real quick, I need to not improv this, but the idea is uh, there's this group of people that obtain the cheat codes to existence, like they, they essentially just have the admin commands to life, um, and th these alien dudes called the devs show up and pretty much claim that they gave them the powers and allow them to continue to use these powers in their own private clones of Earth. Uh, as long as they complete, like, tasks. It's essentially, like, going to work. And whenever they complete the job, uh, they're just allowed to chill in their own private clone of Earth, where, like, everything's the same as it was before the, the uh, dev showed up, but, like, they can literally control whatever they want. Um, and the idea is that it, it's, like, we follow the stories of these characters, and each, uh, each comic issue i guess would be a different character's story of what they're doing currently and it it was honestly a really cool idea i really loved it i i didn't hype it up to anyone because like i knew it was kind of um a little bit uh ambitious um but you know, I, I developed this universe in my head, and it, while I was doing Arkan stuff, I would come back to this and, like, just sit down and think of really cool scenarios and really cool ideas. Like, one of the scenes that I thought um, was there's this character, Dagon, who, uh, his main thing is time and bullets. Uh, I mean, that's two main things, but essentially, he does, like, gun stuff, um, and he can pretty much do everything the other makers can do, but he focuses on, like, fighting. Uh, so Dagon gets in this fight with, um, this girl named Ollie, who was a friend of his, but she was tasked by the devs to kill another friend of his, who he was protecting, and so he had to kill her. And anyway, they have this fight, and, like, it takes place through time. Like, she goes and attacks him, and he punches her into, like, the 1960s. So, like, they're brawling on the street in this middle, in the middle of, like, this big like, hippie kind of crowd, and, um, she grabs him and, like, throws him into the wall, and when he hits the wall, it's no longer a wall, it's, like, a cave, and they're in the prehistoric times, and it, uh, like, I don't know, it was this cool fight throughout time, and I just kept on coming up with cool ideas about all this stuff, and, uh, I, you know, I didn't really do anything with it, because there was nothing I could do, like, I can't make this a series, I can't go out and film this, um, so, I kind of had to scrap it, because, like, I couldn't make the comic either, I just couldn't find the right silhouettes, and then I even went out and bought a uh, drawing mannequin to style, uh, to make my own silhouettes, but it just 
wasn't working out, so I just kind of, like, canceled it. And I hate that I canceled it because I've always wanted to do it. And I think the closest idea or the closest thing that I'll be able to do with it is an audio drama. Um, and I, I have way too many things going on right now, so maybe, maybe I'll do this in the future. Maybe this is 2020 Dead Ghost content. But um, I wanted to share with you all a scene that I actually scripted out back in 2016, 2017, um, between these two characters, Rainboy and Dagon. Uh, now, I already explained Dagon does gun shit. Um, he's kind of like a brooding, edgy... Uh, he, he, he's pretty much Elpag. Uh, uh, you know, I'll be honest. He's Arkin Elpag. If you don't get that reference, don't worry about it. You'll never need to get that. Um, but Rainboy... I, I fucking love Rainboy. Um, at the time of coming up with Rainboy, I was kind of understanding my own sexuality at the time. Like, I, I knew I wasn't straight... But, like, it's complicated. Anyway, Rainboy is the embodiment of my embracing of more neutral gendered characters. Um, which, at the time, I was really scared to do because, like, I didn't want to offend anyone. I didn't want to um, get called, like, a poser or any of that. And um, I created this character called Rainboy that was, like, a vent character. And essentially, he's like this depressed, sassy, gay weathermancer. <laughs> and um, his whole thing is he, he, you know, he can do the maker stuff, he can do the admin stuff, but he focuses on weather because it actually, um, he controls it based on his moods. So when he's sad, he'll make it rain. And it kind of, you know, puts him at ease. Uh, when he's angry, he makes it like storm really hard when he's... uh. Uh, when he's in a fight, I actually had an idea of, of a fight scene between him and Dagon. He uses, like, the lightning to his advantage, where he'll create a storm and, like, point and lightning strikes, and it's really cool. Um, and at one point, I even had the idea that he could go, like, this superpower version of his his um, preference and actually, like, create a tornado or, like, an actual hurricane. But regardless, you know, I didn't get really around to it, so, oh well. But, um, I took this script that I wrote back in 2016, 2017, whenever, and I voiced it. So, I guess I'm gonna play that. Um, one thing to keep in mind, Dagon and Rainboy are actually, uh, clones. Um, Dagon is from a clone Earth, and Rainboy is from a clone Earth. Um, essentially, the Earths that, that, that get cloned for makers, um, can duplicate the maker. Uh, so coincidentally enough, Rainboy is the duplicate of Dagon, but they're like completely opposite. Uh, Dagon's nothing like Rainboy, um, but they still see each other as brothers because they've met and they've actually worked together at times. Um, but anyway, the context of the scene is that uh, Dagon is on the run from the devs, which are the aliens from I mentioned before. And what happened was they tasked uh, he and Sumo, these two other characters, to kill his friend, uh, I think her name was Marsh. I, I, you know, the names in this were crazy, but um, anyway, he was protecting her, and he ended up having to kill Ali and Sumo. And because of that, the devs came after him. So he's been on the run, and he's actually hiding throughout different time periods to, you know, get them off his trail. Well... He ended up hiding in Rainboy's world, and Rainboy got caught wind of this because he's the admin. Like he can see pl a player has joined his server, essentially. Um, so he he invites Dagon to come talk to him, and this is the scene that would happen when Dagon meets up with him. So, you know, um, I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> wow. You actually came! Was I not expected? <laughs> Don't be like that, Dagon. I, I, I mean, after, you know, what went down with the devs and all, I kind of figured... Figured what? Calm down, Dagon, calm down. I am not here to fight. Let me just tell you that right off the bat. No, you're here to tell me to run. Ah, come on, man. I, you and I both know the devs don't like you, and... Well, nobody really likes you, no offense, and everybody wants you dead, so that's like three big stones on the shit list of 
You get what I mean. And? You expect me to keep running all my life? How many years do you think I can hide before they find me? I tried the West. I tried the 60s. Lord knows I tried the fucking Puritans and almost got burned at the stakes. So you tell me right now, Rain Boy, do you expect me to run forever? I just don't want you to die, man. You don't want me to die, huh? Then do what the others did and leave me alone. Why? So you could just go and fuck with the devs again? Man, you know what they'll do to me even if they knew that I was talking to you. I know what they are, what they do, and they're sick. We were given the power to control, Rain Boy, unless you forgot your fucking name. And if you want to forget the storm for a moment and focus, that would be real nice. Uh, 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 fine, fine. There, are you happy? We're makers, Rain. We have free will, and we have a choice, and we have a chance. The devs want us to fall in line or die, and if you want to be their lapdog, then fine. Enjoy the prison you're bound to, but I am going to enjoy the freedom that I was given when I received these powers. It's, it's not like that, man. You don't understand the devs. They are scared of them, Rain. <sighs> and you aren't? We all are. But that doesn't mean we can't fight. Oh, come on. Take control of the system and be the makers the admin wanted us to be. That is why we were made. This is a war, Raid. It's not a job. It's not a business. It is a fucking war. And if you aren't with me, then you're against me. I'm fighting for the freedom and the future of our species. You and the devs are protecting outdated rules that only harm our existence. Now please, don't make me do this. Oh shit. You gonna kill me, Dagon? Like you killed Sumo? Like you killed Ollie? Don't you dare mention her name. Or what? You'll unmake me? Fuck you, Dagon. And fuck your philosophies. My philosophies are for the betterment of what we are, Rain. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit, Dagon. Your philosophies are... Uh, uh, they're ridiculous. We're makers, man. We, we, we can snap our fingers and change our appearance. We can pull down the fucking admin menu, the cheat codes, to life. And... And you want to waste it? Listen to the people that made us. And that's how we get our freedom. Don't avoid them. I mean, if they made us, they can unmake us, right? You're not the only one, man. If we don't do the job, they'll just find somebody else to clone. Think with your fucking head. Not with your gun. I'm thinking more clearly than you ever will in your entire miserable fucking life. Okay. Okay, you've made your point. If you want to hate the devs, fine. Fuck the devs. But don't bring any of my shit into your shit. Don't mix our shits together and create a big shit pie and different shit flavors because at the end of the day, you're the one that's not doing the job that the devs made us to do. Now you can go run off and fuck a dinosaur or whatever you do when you traverse through time, but I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna be the bitch that the devs want me to be until I can be free and I can go do whatever the hell I want elsewhere. <laughs> Whenever I want. Because that's what we were offered. Now if you wanna, you wanna jeopardize that, go right ahead. I'm gonna snap my fingers and create a cool ass car and drive the fuck away from you because you're fucking crazy, Dagon. <laughs> You've gone mental. But I did enjoy our talks, so, you know, I'd say let's do it again, but, you know. <clears throat> no, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Dagon.